it really does make a difference when the answer comes in three seconds instead of 30 seconds. That can make or break a use case. Hi, my name is Robert Luciani, and I'm a senior data scientist with about 15 years of experience in high-performance computing, AI development, and advanced analytics development, bringing the potential of technology to life. Today, I'm partner and engineer at the AI framework here in Stockholm, where we help some of the largest firms in Sweden and in the world to understand and utilize AI to make their businesses more successful, valuable, help their customers, and so forth. Do you want me to turn off the fridge? Because it's making a noise now in the background. I don't know if you can hear it. There should be a button to turn it off. The biggest challenges today at these customers when it comes to AI is really understanding what the potential of these systems is. In my mind, it's limitless, but sometimes we need to help narrow down what can be done for our customers so that they can actually get started. In the end, it's all about being practicable. You have to get the work done. I actually think we're seeing a trend right now where customers are realizing that an overly homogenous single vendor solution is not working for them and that having edge devices, cloud, on-prem, and more tailor-made solutions is actually the way forward, especially in the age of generative AI. One of the things that's very exciting about AI development nowadays is how much you can do at home yourself. I think that goes for a lot of technologies, what the PC has enabled us to do as individuals. And so you'll see a lot of data scientists using consumer hardware at home to get started and doing really neat things with AI development. But just by virtue of not perhaps having had the chance to try amazing hardware, they're not aware of exactly how much of a difference it can make. And that goes from video production to AI development to high performance computing. It, there really is an ocean of difference in stepping up to professional hardware. Let me give you a practical example right now. Uh, one of the state-of-the-art models that is open source really requires four GPUs with at least 40 gigabytes of memory each. And so I have multiple customers right now that want to use these models. They need to use them, in fact. They have use cases in production with people expecting a certain level of quality, and so they need these kinds of models. That's not something that's simply possible on typical machines. Don't get me wrong, I love my gaming PC. I built it myself. You know, it has water cooling and everything. But even, even on that machine, if I play Cyberpunk for a few hours, it starts to get tired. Whereas my workstation, I can run for a week, full blast, all four GPUs and CPU running, and it won't have any problems, no data loss, no issues and nothing. I think one of the things that helps me the most in the job that I do is tools that make me feel creative and inspired. Because a lot of times problem solving is about making a leap from where you are to where you want to be. And uh, creativity is really important in that. HP is a company, it's not just a set of machines. So for me, it was very important that the organization that I was working with was reliable. And I think that was really what made the difference for me in my experience, that the people I worked with uh, were above and beyond.